and we're best friends. Yes, we are. And he just kind of gets, gets along with everybody. So. I don't get along with everybody as well as I get, oh. as, as well as I get along with you. <laughs> but I don't know. No, it, it's true though. I feel like I've known you um, forever. This feels like a family. You know what I mean? Um, I think the Spanish and Portuguese department has a very interesting way of making it feel like this is home. My friend Gabby Molina, we both went on this program summer after freshman year, didn't know each other beforehand, and we got really close then and kind of went through the process um, sophomore year of deciding to major in Spanish together. And I just remember we'd keep meeting up for lunches and we each had our perspective alternative, our respective alternative majors and just kept talking ourselves closer to Spanish um, until it came time for Declaration Day and we're both like, wait, like, I think we're both gonna do it. I think we're both gonna do Spanish. I'll always remember all of the crazy memories that I've had both abroad and um, in the Spanish department, whether it be you know climbing up the mountain in Barcelona to go interview a radical Catholic nun, or eating rice and beans with strangers that I recently met in Cuba, or walking along the trails of Machu Picchu, or even just like going to Prospect House and having a really good meal with a TA or a professor. So in terms of how Spo has helped me, I like to direct a lot, and I'm interested in theater that matters, political theater. And for my thesis, I've gotten to study political theater in Brazil under the dictatorship, and actually being able to connect a country that I really love with like a shared artistic kind of heritage and passion and lineage has been really, really important in thinking about like what matters for me moving forward. So I'm kind of hoping to continue studying some of Teatro de Oprimido, Theater of the Oppressed. The fact that I've just been able to like go to like anarchist dens and like the outskirts of Madrid and then also like home studios and like Havana has been you know something that I wouldn't have expected I'd be doing necessarily but was very important for me yeah, in my overall intellectual and personal growth. I think that my favorite memories were actually with my with my independent work. My advisors that I had like really guided my academic experience here in a way that I hadn't expected um, and sort of like empowered me to, I don't know, I, I, didn't ha I hadn't really thought of myself as an academic before my independent work and having someone like recognize it and say like this is actually good, like you're actually thinking like pretty differently about like the field um, was a big deal. We went to see um, the Iguazu waterfalls which is the most amazing thing I've ever seen standing on the edge of one of the world's biggest waterfalls um, as the water tumbles over and we're just watching beautiful rainbows cascade about. Um, I think we were all really awestruck and it put a lot of things into context. So that was an amazing moment. I think the best memories that I made were actually the friends that I met in Buenos Aires in my research were all from Spain because they were studying abroad and I got to see them when I went back this January. So that was really cool to kind of complete the circle and maintain contact with all those friends that I met abroad. The thing that sticks out in my head is just like a Spanish department reception at Palmer House with DJ Max Greer yeah. and people <laughs> dancing and I don't know, it's like what other department are people going to be dancing salsa for hours into the yeah. With their evening? professors. With the professors, yeah. Thank you everybody for an awesome four years here at Princeton. I really appreciate your friendship and your teaching. Boa sorte. O melhor de tudo para vocês e obrigado por tudo. Pues estoy súper agradecida por todo lo que me ha dado el Departamento de Español. De verdad ha sido una experiencia fenomenal y si lo pudiera repetir lo, lo haría sin falta. Y muchísimas gracias a Alberto que siempre ha, estado, ha sido una persona que siempre me apoya en todos los momentos en que lo, lo ha necesitado y que de verdad te voy a echar mucho de menos a todo el departamento y ha sido, ha sido cuatro años espectaculares. Muchísimas gracias por todo, de verdad. Felicitaciones a todos mis amigos y uh, muchísimas gracias a todos los profesores um, por darnos una experiencia increíble y um, por siempre, siempre uh, darnos oportunidades que no podríamos tener en, otro, en otra escuela, otra universidad. Caetano Veloso, the Brazilian singer, has a song, Alegría, which is like joy. 
it's a bit ironic, but <laughs> I would say let's take it. Like alegria. Let's in this in this moment. I don't know. Yeah. Um, congratulations to the rest of the strong Spanish class of 2018. Um, there are a lot of us, and we did it. We're almost there. Enhorabuena.